Hi, my name is Jason Ox and I'm the owner of 208 Discs in Boise, Idaho. I'm also a sponsored player for Dynamic Discs as well as on the research and development team for Zuka. And I'm here to talk to you about a few new products that have come out that I'm really excited about. So we're just going to talk about Zuka here for a minute. I've uh, worked with them for a few years now, done a number of YouTube review videos for them as well as being an ambassador for the brand and a tester of new products that are unreleased. And it's been an amazing experience. Um, as we all know, Zuka kicked off their journey into the disc golf world with what's known as the disc golf cart. Uh, this was Zuka's first venture into the disc golf world and it was uh, taken with open arms for sure. This is the disc golf cart that we've all seen out there. Uh, this is the non-backpack cart, meaning that it has the bag insert with the disc golf rack in it. Um, we've seen these out on courses everywhere. It was a great addition to the disc golf world, something to help people take a load off, uh, and they've been absolutely amazing. So that was the disc golf cart. Then we've got the regular backpack cart. So this was released by Zuka. Shortly after that, Dynamic Disc teamed up with them and put out a Dynamic Disc version. Same cart, just different branding. Uh, but these have been super popular out there. Hinged lid seat. And these have allowed players to take their backpack style bag, insert it into the cart, and take a load off during long tournaments. I'll give you the ability to sit down and we've seen a number of customizing options available um, as far as accessories go to um, just random mods that that people have contributed and and done out on their their course to their cart with that being said shortly after the release of this cart there's a number of individuals who had larger disc golf bags that were unable to get them into this cart uh, with the fit that they would like and we didn't want to leave them out so what happened next was amazing in the LG cart. Now, Zuka has these. Dynamic Disc just recently uh, branded them as well and put them out. But this is a larger version of the backpack cart to accommodate the larger bags. Um, Luxury Bag E3, Ranger H2O, and I'll show you a couple of those in the cart so you can see how they fit. But basically just opened up the backpack cart to a larger audience on a number of more bags that will fit in here and uh, just be a better fit overall. Hinge lid seat still. This cart's available in matte black only at this time, but that's a great color. It matches most bags and any kind of theme that you're going for. But other than that, everything on it is the same. All the carts are shipping with foam tires now, uh, locking wheel knobs, which is great. And of course, the drink holders on the back, Zuka actually offers um, an XL drink holder now that accommodates larger drink, like Nalgene's Hydro Flask. So that's nice. You still got the removable axles. Still got the same great pole clamp combo here, same handle. Um, just a larger version of the regular backpack bag. I'm gonna stick a few bags in here to just show you how they fit. And these bags are ones that were too tight of a fit in the regular backpack cart. So I'm going to grab a Ranger H2O here. Now this was one bag that didn't like the regular size of the backpack cart. Then now anybody with this bag will be able to pick up the LG. And all you gotta do there, put the seat up. I like to go top in first. I'm gonna slide the bottom right in there. Go ahead and tuck that strap there. And there you go. Perfect fit with the H2O in here. Now the same with all the side drink holder bags, you're going to lose your drink holders on the side. However, the cart has those. There's also a number of mods that you can do for this cart. It's gonna allow you to hold more drinks on it. But as you can see, the H2O is a great fit in here. Hinge lid seat allows you into the top of the bag. And this is a bag that wouldn't have fit in the regular size backpack cart well, and now it's been accommodated. I'm gonna go ahead and take this out. You can see how easy this was for me. Let's pull right out of the cart. And we're gonna stick an E3 bag in. This is a Latitude E3 Wysocki edition. Slid right into the LG, no problem whatsoever. Hinge lid seat goes down without crunching down the top. Perfect fit. This wouldn't have fit in the regular backpack cart. So now with the LG, it makes it possible, which is really nice. No problems. 
So that's the LG cart. These are $229. Available at Dynamic Discs, available at Zuka. Also available at 208 Discs if you'd like to help me with your purchase. But it looks amazing. Still room in there to get into your side pockets. The only thing you're losing is your drink holders, which again, the cart has. So this has been an amazing addition to the Zuka family. Um, especially with the Dynamic Disc branding on the bottom. It's my favorite. And this is the LG cart. Not much heavier. Still the same agility as far as wheeling it around, pushing and pulling. And then you can always just pull your bag out for those rounds on courses where they aren't so cart friendly. And we are going to talk about the new Easy Cart. This has actually grown on me quite a bit. I'm loving this cart. So this was another option that they came up with. Dynamic Disc has this cart out right now. They're $159, uh, great price point, but very unique. And I'm, I'm really, really starting to like this cart and I'll show you why. So the idea behind this cart was again, trying to open it up to audiences who have um, no interest in the, in the regular size disc golf cart. Maybe they have a bag that doesn't fit the backpack cart. Maybe they're not particularly caring for the LG or want a different option. So they came out with the easy cart, which is kind of like a bare bones cart for 159. And what you do is you set your bag up on this top shelf right here. And then down here in this bottom shelf, right around first quarter of 2018, they're going to have a hot cold line pouch that slides right down into that shelf in the bottom. It's going to be game changer. I can't wait for that pouch to come out. Doesn't matter if you're putting cold drinks down there, maybe you're taking your hoodie off and sticking it in that pouch and sliding it right in the bottom, but it just instantly added a storage option to the cart that aside from like saddle bags on the full size cart, um, you were kind of limited to whatever you could put in your bag. Now you're going to have this shelf down there to work with, which is amazing. So again, well, I'm going to use the same bags again here. We'll grab the H2O. So all you do to secure this to the top is you're going to run your handle from your bag over the pole and set it right down here on the shelf. Now a lot of people have commented and said, well, does that make it all top heavy? Is it going to tip a lot? And I can tell you from my experiences with it, I wouldn't even worry about that one bit. Um, I haven't had this thing tip over once, especially once you have something in your shelf down here, that's going to help out a little bit. But as far as it being secure, shaking around any of that, um, it's not an issue. Your bag isn't going to fall off of this. Holds it just fine. If you wanted to, there's a number of things you could do back here to secure it even more, but it's actually a really great fit when you slide the handle right up over that and it doesn't make it top heavy, which is really nice. So that's the H2O bag on there. And the other cool thing about it is that you're able to get into all your pockets, all your drink holders. I mean, if you're somebody who likes a lot of beverages on the course, now you not only have access to all the drink holders in your bag, you're going to have a pouch that goes down on the shelf back there. You got two drink holders on the back of the cart. It's going to be amazing. You're going to have all your drinks for the spring or summer on those hot days. You're able to get in and out of your pockets. You don't even have to crouch down as much as you would with a different cart to get your discs out because your bag is elevated and sitting right up top here. And you still have access to all your pockets, um, umbrella holder if you wanted on the bag. You could put your stool on your bag. And so that leads me to another topic here that's come up. And that is that, well, what if I want to sit? And that's a great question. Um, obviously a lot of people get these carts because they not only want to take the load off as far as carrying their heavy bag around through a two, three, four day tournament, but they also want to have a place to sit during a round. If the holes are getting backed up, possibly at awards, uh, you just want to have a place to sit down and, and, and kind of relax a little bit. And so I found an actually really cool accessory that I've fallen in love with that made me personally change to the easy cart immediately. Um, and that is called the Zuka Universal Pole Holder or Multi-Use Pole Holder. This is an accessory on the Zuka site. Uh, it's very similar to the umbrella holder that they had. It's really cool because it actually comes with these rounded and square attachments that you can screw onto the holder. So what I did with this was I put on the round attachments. I clipped this bad boy right onto the back of my pole. 
And then you can stick a stool right in the top here for when you want to sit down. Problem solved. Like it, it just totally blew my mind as soon as I threw this on there and saw like, wait, now I can have a stool with me. I don't have to sit on my cart. I've also got this lighter, more agile version of the Zuka cart. Um, it is noticeably lighter and noticeably more agile. It's super easy to wheel around the course, full access to your whole bag. And now you've got the multi-use pole holder on the back for when you want to stick a stool in there so that you can sit down. And if you think that you're not going to be sitting much that day or you just want to you know, forego this accessory, all you have to do is pop this thing right back off and set it to the side. It also has those square attachments. So if you wanted, you could take the square attachments, screw them in and mount this right on the side of your cart. That way you're not taking up your entire pole. Um, being an admin on the Zuka fan page, I see everything, all the mods that everybody's doing, um, a lot of the, the little accessories that they're adding on or, or buying from Zuka and putting on their cart uh, utilizes the pole here. And you don't wanna you know, give up all your space on the pole and lose being able to use an accessory pouch or something else like that. So this has come in huge because not only can you put it on the pole, but you could put it off the side of your cart if you want and keep your stool there or even an umbrella. So this is a really cool accessory that I found that uh, is gonna work out really well for me. I switched over to the easy cart myself as soon as I saw that accessory and realized I could still sit, could still get my entire bag. Once that shelf comes out, uh, pouch in the bottom, it's game over for sure. But this has been great, especially if you have a bag that has a rain fly for it. You can throw your rain fly on your bag and keep everything protected. So as far as accessories go at this time, um, Didi and Zuka were really wanting to get these out for the holidays. Um, so they got the carts out, the accessories, some of them are still coming. As far as the LG cart, uh, at this time there isn't a seat cushion or a rain fly for the cart, but there will be first quarter 2018 as well as fenders. I've already seen some prototypes for it. It's going to be amazing. They're going to have all the accessories that are available for the regular backpack cart. So don't let that sway you that those aren't available now. They'll be out really soon. I'm stoked on it. I can't wait to start modding my LG cart out. Same with the easy cart. The, uh, the bottom pouch there is coming out real soon. Um, no rain fly for this. I don't assume that there will be. Uh, I think that they're kind of counting on people to incorporate the rain fly that they already have out for their bag. But um, as far as fenders go and anything else like that, watch for accessories here real soon in 2018 to come out for the, the LG and the EZ. But um, yeah, I'm gonna take this H2O out of here real quick. Maybe you don't have this large of a bag and you wanna stick something different on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and just throw a commander bag up on there to give you an idea of that as well. Same deal. Run it through your handle on the top, bring it down. Tuck your straps in, and you're good to go with a commander bag on top. That's the nice thing about this easy is you can put pretty much any bag you want to on here because you're just incorporating the top handle here and just setting it down on top of the shelf. Great cart. Uh, this easy cart comes right now in matte gray, red, blue, and black. Um, the LG cart is just in matte black right now, but I'm sure we're gonna see some new colors from that as well. Um, obviously, you can still use things like your accessory pouch, your putter pouch, and like I said before, more accessories will be coming out in 2018 for both of these. But um, I highly recommend both carts. Uh, I've been loving Zuka since they first came out. I've gone from the full size to the backpack to the LG cart. Now I'm messing around with the EZ and I'm loving it. Uh, just super agile, lightweight, very compact when you break everything down removable tire axle, um, drink holders still. Once that pouch comes out on the bottom, that's, that's gonna be the ultimate. I can't wait for that. Um, so on a hot day, you're gonna have plenty of places to put your drinks. If you got a jacket or a sweater or something you wanna stick down there on that shelf, you're gonna be able to do that. But yeah, Dynamic Disc Easy Cart and the LG Cart, your two new additions to the Zuka family. Uh, as usual, if you have any questions at all, you can always reach out to me, whether on my personal page or 208 Dis. Uh, I highly recommend you checking out our Instagram page. We've been doing a ton of Zuka stuff on there. 
Um, great pictures on there as well. And if you ever have any questions, I'm more than available and happy to, to answer those for you. Um, I'll always plug our Zuka fan page if you haven't visited that yet. We've got 3,600 members on there right now, all part of the Zuka family in one way or another, offering up advice, um, lots of pictures and links as far as third-party accessories and add-ons that they've done to their carts. Uh, it's just been a great community as far as for new Zuka cart owners or, or, or um, people that have owned Zukas for a while that are looking to customize or modify theirs. So yeah, 208 disc, Zuka, dynamic disc. We're here to take the load off and make your life easier during those tournament rounds. I highly recommend you checking one of these out. Uh, we carry all these models at 208 Discs. I'm more than happy to help you with their purchase, but I'm also happy to help you with pictures or to answer questions at any time. Uh, I'm a big believer in these carts, their quality as time has gone on that Zuka has listened to their um, followers and their cart owners and made all the right modifications to the cart and upgrades. So coming with the foam tires and the locking wheel knobs now stock, is amazing and uh, it's just a great family to be a part of so if you ever have any questions or would like to purchase one of these feel free to contact me at 208 dis and uh, yeah have a great winter